Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Reverse 1999 reaction. Today we have one that was requested by Spooky Sandwich on the last video, and it is Dust to Dust. Apparently this one is a little sad, but amazing. And I've heard a lot of really good songs, but a lot of them have been pretty upbeat recently, and I could, I could survive being beaten down a little bit. So I think it's worth giving this one a shot and seeing what that emotional roller coaster may have in store for me. So without further ado, Let's go. Where do we go? Ooh, okay. Where do we go? The low frame rate was kind of making me interested right off the bat. I was like, ooh, we're getting artsy, you know? <laughs> Oh man, the crack on that snare sound. It's like a cross stick. A lot of an attack to that. overlapping synth on this one well it's less of a synth i think this is just a keyboard it's a really cool sound though i can definitely see why this is sad <laughs> I'm sure it's only going to get worse. Yeah, it's getting worse. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Not crying robot mom. I crack jokes to help with the pain. I'm also just living in this chord progression. It's so beautiful. The lyrics on this are very good. They're consistent. The tone is very locked in. I don't feel like they're just repeating the same thing over and over again. There's like an evolution to it. This is really well done for an emotional song in a, in a game. <laughs> Man. Beautiful resolution at the end there too. All right, so this song is a little, it's a little sneaky. It's, it's Hallelujah by Leonard Cohen. Uh, you know, you know the song Hallelujah, the, it goes like this, the fourth, the fifth, the minor fall and the major lift. It follows that exact principle, slightly different, same key. It's in a minor, so is Hallelujah. This song hits almost the exact same pattern, albeit I think the G was switched out for an E in the chord progression here. And other than that, it's like, of course, you're gonna have little differences between when they approach certain chord changes, but the key is locked in, and the only real difference that I could feel out was that there was a different chord in there, and after plucking around on the piano, I'm pretty sure that that is a D, not a G. 
Banshee like in Hallelujah. So it's th- this this cheats a little bit. It follows the exact exact formula, and a, that's not a bad thing. I want to make sure that that's understood. That is a brilliant, and there's a reason that that part in the beginning of Hallelujah literally points out it goes like this: the fourth, the fifth. It is a beautiful, bittersweet progression, and there's a reason that it's used so often. It's because it's so gorgeous, especially with how this one does it. It seems to start on an A minor and then goes immediately to a major, and then it kind of sticks in major. I think the chorus, it has a minor that matches the A. I couldn't figure it out. I th- It sounded like a D minor, but I'm not positive. I can only pluck around so much. Uh, I think that that's what was happening there. And then the chorus it doesn't do the E minor as far as I could tell. It just stays in all other major chords. So it does exactly what Hallelujah does. It gives you this minor to root back to as its main chord and then everything following it feels like you're progressing. It feels like there's something better to come until you're brought back down by that exact same A minor and it's really, really powerful. This song, obviously the story it's progressing through and basically talking entirely about loss and how the world changing and people changing around you, people passing, even though the reason that they're gone maybe for something that you were fighting for together does not make the loss hurt any less. And that is such a profound statement. The imagery in this one really got me after a little while. I'm not a crier, but I was feeling it for sure. I don't know the characters, but I could see the loss. Like the one that I didn't actually notice was the guy on the left side of the screen disappearing from the beach before they returned to the beach and it was then just the two other people before she faded away. I saw the fade, that made me go, oh. And then as I was looking back through the song and listening to parts of it, I noticed he wasn't there. And I was like, oh, <laughs> like, even after all that and the lyrics talking about like the the warmth before the cold and it's just cold and that's really sad and then matching it with that hallelujah chord progression is just cheating it's cheating the heart it's so it's such a cop out it's like how dare you sir how dare you i don't know who composed this one but how dare you (laughs) a beautiful song a great great consistent chord progression an amazing key to write this in just knowing exactly how to pull at those heartstrings and tug them around like it's a game of chess and it's not fair and it makes you feel that it puts you in that place but then also there was this beautiful like melancholic plucking of these synths and i'm pretty sure it was probably a guitar on top of the keyboard that was on a heavy reverb and delay and it was just kind of bouncing aimlessly and that sort of psychological effect can play a lot in the mind too. This sound of aimless knocking about and not having this cohesive sound that like roots itself very solid. There's nothing that feels like it comes to a single halt through this entire song. It feels like there's just aimless little bounces of audio all over the place and that can represent the mind scattering and just not being able to collect your thoughts and feelings and it it did that very well too. So just matching all of that stuff together really makes this song sell itself and tells the story of what it needs to and albeit that is pretty depressing It is a beautiful, beautiful way to do so, and I think that the writers for this did an amazing job here. Fantastic work all around. This one was definitely a much needed tone down from my usual hype. Uh, Beautiful track. I can't stop saying that enough. It's absolutely gorgeous. Mind-boggling how people can write things so consistently and be able to hit those notes so confidently while making you feel, as the listener, like you can't settle down into one feeling that's such an impressive ability to do as a musician and i gotta respect the absolute hell out of that but anyway of course if you have any other songs you want me to listen to from reverse 1999 or any other games or movies or anything go ahead and drop them down in the comments below and i will do my best to get to them and otherwise if you just watch this video and you want to follow me and support me going forward and see more stuff whatever it may be you know how to do all that and i will see you in the next video Goodbye!